Good morning, everyone. This is Lord Holland 4293, and I am on Operation Raptor Rescue in my Chocolof. Teammates, Amagi, Sharnhorse, Mines, Minesby, Abelmar, and Anirian. And the reason I have chosen this replay is I am going to show you how to snipe the carrier in a Russian CV. Now, for the sake of the replay, I'll just only play that like that one little fragment. That, that, so it's, it's going to be a short replay, but... Now I do try to go for the Aoba a second time to see if I can knock him out, but I overlead that, sh underlead it, and the Torps don't hit the Fuso, so it was a wasted strike. But it's it's whatever. Not every carrier can get a great game. Let's be honest; no one gets a perfect game every time. Not even me. Get a fire, so hopefully I can get a flood. Now, as you've seen, all seen my Saipan replay, hopefully. Chocolat is basically the, uh, Alpha Beta, almost. But it carries Nakamoth Tier 10 plane. So these, tr so these planes, like the Saipan, hit like a truck. So, Saipan does about 20,000 on a good rocket, on a good Torp Strike. Chocolate does about 25,000 on a Torp Strike. And you just saw how I landed six torpedoes and the damage just goes up. Now, you'll want, now watch this now. The damage is at 37,000. Six Torps. 20 some. Over at least 20,000 damage. That's the power of those torps. Now, this is how you kind of. Now, this is where we get into the more technical part of the replay. How to snipe the carrier. This would be a lot easier if you had the Fabeta. I've done it numerous times in a Fabeta. Now, in the Fabeta, you want to use your rockets first so you can get the DCP on the carrier off. And those rockets can do at least, if you aim them right, 10k salvo easily. Maybe 14. But they will just, they will hurt the CV really quickly. So use your rockets on the first strike. And then use your skip bombers. You can probably use two strikes on your rockets and then use the uh, skip bombers to get. Now remember, the skip bombers are only really more accurate on their second line right here. Now I drop them on the third line because I can't. I drop them on the second line because I can't get much closer, and it's a bad drop. Now the Avamar does say he's going after the CV, so I do have a little competition. But in terms of damage output, you see where I'm at on my carrier. That is the absolute perfect position to snipe the carrier from, and if the cruisers come from the south, you'll be relatively well protected, and you will also see what happens when you overextend and what happens so there's that too so it gives you two lessons here in sniping the carrier I get a perfect line getting as close as I can to get all my bombs now that's a four bombs DCP now I'm up to 70,000 damage 74 yeah, 74,000 damage. Not bad for chocolate. It's respectable. And you can see how I can just out damage the carrier. Out damage him. Out damage that able mark in damage. Because I can just keep throwing planes. I move up thinking, okay, he maybe he'll switch from the CV and help shoot those cruisers. Because that's just too perfect of an opportunity. And it's kind of right here that I'm like thinking, oh, I'm going to be in trouble. 
And I do get two floods, so those are permanent floods. Uh, CVDCP. I do get another torp on the Aeolba. So I'm up to 85,000. Real quickly, like that. That's how fast the damage stacks on that ship. And he, you did see the AP from the Avomar going in. And now you're kind of seeing what happens when you overextend. It's not fun. Now those are two fires burning on the carrier. Nope, no burning. And at this point, I'm like really worried I'm gonna die. Now in a full beta, you could easily have killed this carrier in two strikes, easily. Now I messed that strike up. I should, I could have probably had him down sooner, but the bombs just aren't landing, honestly, which is unfortunate. And you see, the Avomar does try to shoot right here. Yep, now he shoots the HE, but doesn't get the kill, and I barely survive on 5,000 health. Thankfully my team was here to help. And you see the shell, shells going in to snipe. And I do pick up the carrier. That is how you pick up a carrier in Raptor Rescue in a CV. It's a very technical skill and very demanding. But it is extremely rewarding when you do do it. And you see how the Evil Mars like at half health, you know, kudos to him, but yeah. That's kind of how the gist of how you do it and what happens when you overextend. And this is the end of the replay, Captains. Uh, take care. This is Lord Holland4293, sign off. Remember to like and subscribe and comment in the comments below. Feedback really helps me. Take care, Captains.